Okay, hi there. Welcome back to another in our series of chains of reasoning videos. Here's a quick example of a chain of reasoning to do with a question on the difficulties of running a fixed exchange rate. Examiners are looking for clear chains of reasoning in your answers to get those high marks and try to build connective words and phrases into your answers. Good analysis always encourages strong evaluation and I hope I'll give you a good example in this short video. Here's our question. Analyse why a fixed exchange rate could cause difficulties for a country that, that has one. OK, and let's work through a, a chain of reasoning here. A fixed exchange rate is set by a government and managed by a central bank. Start off with a clear definition. Develop that a little bit. It's not set by market forces of supply and demand. And a good example for application is the fixed rate between the Danish krona and the euro. Denmark is inside the European Union, uh, but outside monetary union, uh, and it continues to have its own currency, but it is fixed against the euro. Now, building the chain of reasoning. With a fixed exchange rate, the central bank, Bank of Denmark, what have you, must set monetary policy interest rates and be prepared to use uh, changes in foreign exchange reserves to maintain that fixed currency peg. One difficulty, go back to the question, of a fixed exchange rate is that the domestic economy might be experiencing an economic slowdown or even a recession, perhaps as a result of an external shock. Now, the central bank might want, in that situation, to cut interest rates to stimulate the money supply and to stimulate components of aggregate demand. But they might not be able to do this because it would then cause an outflow of hot money and then put downward pressure on the fixed currency rate. So that limits their room for manoeuvre, if you like. A consequence can be a deeper recession than if a country was running a floating exchange rate, where, for example, if there's an external shock, the market value of the currency might go down. By the way, on this example, I'm using the words might and can uh, because it invites a little bit more nuanced analysis. This is what the uh, paragraph looks like if you add those lines together. Uh, not too long, but it's a good sequential chain of reasoning with some application in there and some analysis. Well, some evaluation. Countries with fixed exchange rates can decide to devalue their exchange rate. If they think the, the currency fix is too high, they might try to negotiate the devaluation to improve their price competitiveness, stimulate exports and the wider economy. Although, of course, we know that devaluation also carries economic risks. And although interest rates, although monetary policy is tied to maintaining a fixed exchange rate, the government of a country with a fixed exchange rate might still be able to use fiscal policy, changes in direct and indirect taxes, changes in government spending to manage demand and perhaps to try and influence short run growth. They're not, you know, they're not exactly out of all the, all the levers that they could pull. There we go. Chain of reasoning on fixed exchange rates. I hope you found it useful. Uh, if you did, please press like and subscribe. Stay happy. Stay positive. Lots more revision videos as we head into exam season.